choose where to launch this. trying to think if I have any reason to go to Jimmy's house. The answer is no. No. You can't go get food anymore, so there's no reason to ever see each other in real life anymore. Right. Like, we can watch a show. Cat. Yeah, I was going to say I'm sure cats are involved. Yeah, that was the reason I went over there last time, was to see the cats. That was before exciting. They, before they got big. But now they're just full size. The now they're just regular cats. Who cares? The novelty's gone. The flame no, I was gonna say, the, the, the perfect animal is a kitten that grows into a dog. Into Kittens sky. are cool. Cats Missiles are jaded. The dogs are east. awesome. Puppies are just and annoying. Encampment Puppies are not well. Puppies are fucking twisted ears Yeah. Allied. And been betrayed by Wolpus and Kaisar. Legion I'll shoe on everything died. and fucking shit everywhere. Their silhouettes blasted into the ground the and earth. This is gonna be terrible. The spikes used to give you, so I have to just like do this perfect. Of the last of the twisted hairs, it was an ending to things, a way of erasing the road that had led to this point. I'm gonna buy some more jerky. I want other flavors. That had walked with it. At the end of what the side struggle, are you buying jerky from? Only one courier remained Big John's in the heart beef jerky. The divide, Big John's the beef jerky. Courier, courier six. Uh, this, the courier it's one of those sites where, unless somebody told you to buy something from, from there, you would never ever put your. Oh man, this is another. This is another atrocious no website. Military a jerky. Sign of respect, or in anger, for what had been endured to reach okay, this moment. Doesn't work. I'm gonna steal some unlawful. valor to get a jerky discount, Interpretation guys. <laughs> is something best left to history, and only the surviving courier would ever know. Click and get me some jerky. Certain. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Dude, the, right, what, how what much do you, jerky do I want? Let's see. This, the background of this site, the way it's designed, this is like. 2007, like yeah. the, the diagonal like gradient thing. This is, I, I remember like making websites like this. For the second time. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah exactly. And like back. making something look Navigating plasticky or whatever. And like the corners, yeah. it's the like. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure as if recognizing the courier's right to passage. <sighs> All right. I don't want half pound bags. That's too big of a bag. The courier walked until he stood again upon bags. the edge of the divide. Pack of six bags. The that last road good. he would walk. I want to hit up customer service and just be like, who designed your website? For Hoover Dam. Just right. what, like, when? Beside his feet was a final package. What flavors do I want, one boys? courier to another. They only to have, the like, teriyaki. four of them. A footlocker. No, they have a lot of them. What? Bearing a gift. They're crap ton of flavors. And I had a hard time picking. A message. But that message... Oh, day. I only see four flavors. Am I doing something wrong? Yeah, this is sick. For them oh, you're doing alone. something Order. super. Yeah, the click, click get me some jerk. Oh, I'm Man. sorry. I wanted to see the flavors and I clicked the flavors. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> you yeah. fucking yeah. You saw the website. What do you think? It said. You have to war. click choose styles war. and flavors. Wait a second. What's Never the difference changes. between a half pound bag and a half Men pound do. fatty? <laughs> <laughs> what? Can somebody, can somebody explain the difference to me between end. these two things? Ulysses was defeated what is it? Is it a half pound bag and a half pound fatty? I, did have to, uh, I don't know I did what have that to is. But, uh, it's limited to. Dude, Ulysses give me the half pound Do fatty. Do it, babe. What's my. It's just got like an eighth of weed that comes with it. Oh, wait a second. I'm when you go to the. That. What's the difference between strips and pocket steaks? Strips is jerky. Pocket steaks is like a giant chunk of meat. Dude, calling them pocket Four steaks, that is brilliant marketing. I've got, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not calling it jerky anymore. I'm calling them dry stripped pocket steaks. <laughs> Here you go, Mason. <laughs> 
This is what the oh, pocket a, oh stakes Oh my look gosh. Like. That will oh, literally tear my teeth out. <laughs> that will undo all of my <laughs> video, Invisalign work. The video is him cutting it up into regular sized jerky pieces. Look at look at the look at the scissors he has to use to cut this up. Those are like surgical scissors. That's like that. Those are the scissors that you use for like cutting crab cast. legs. And yeah, shit. I was gonna say you like yeah. Wait, Elon Musk may have COVID nineteen. You're like two days Still late. Still just Come good on. natured rascal. What the fuck? So hey, I'm sorry. Why? It's Caesar's Legion on the back. <laughs> Come on, man. Plus 15 AP is not bad. Back though. to selecting my flavors. Plus 15 AP is actually really good, considering the fact that I have to. Um... I'm getting two teriyaki, one fiery teriyaki. So I've got three left. I'm gonna try the smoky garlic. I wanna say every time I'm in this mumble, someone is buying something from this website. So. Alright, so I'm basically done with the game. Uh, Ulysses is dead. I haven't had I fiery black pepper and garlic. One. Which sounds like it could be good. I have that one and I have not tried it yet. But regular black pepper and garlic is very fucking good. Yeah, I've had that one before, so I know that one's good. Can I just sleep until baseball season again? There's there's no content. There's no content anywhere. Like I'm dingers. I'm 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 dead. Like, that's. We want to know the new industry. The new industry is just putting is literally just putting people in medically induced comas until the world's better. Right, so I think I'm going for two teriyaki, one fiery teriyaki. One smoky garlic, one black pepper and garlic, and one fiery black pepper and garlic. Yeah, this is it. I'm buying this. Dude, I need to make I an account so I can I start cashing in on this loyalty so rewards program. I've bought direction. jerky from the site a couple times. <laughs> I sent, I sent nukes their direction and they still love me. I'm a wild child, bitch. Get moving, prof. I want. I want this car. I want this car. It'd be so sick. <laughs> this would be so sick, dude. Driving the boys around in this. Still just wild child. <sighs> really fucking. God, you rode around in my car, right? When I had the Cadillac? Yeah. This would have been- Imagine guys. rolling around North Georgia in this. Like, driving up to the cabin in this my thing, fucking, man. My fucking reputation with Caesar's Badass car. car. Holy yeah. moly, this is cool. It must what are the really rules on how you can put seats in cars? Don't you just have to classify it as a limousine and then you can do whatever you want? Unless this right, is, as long as it has seat belts, I think you can do whatever you want. This doesn't have seatbelts. didn't say I was dressed as a member of seatbelts. But seatbelts were optional until like the okay. 80s anyhow. That's yeah, familiar. back in the golden age. Plus I do know I had a friend who like classified his like Ford Explorer as a limousine so he could have like 80 tints on every window. All right, when I registered my account, there's like no confirmation or anything. I never got an email. It just took me to the page and you just log in with the shit you just made. Big Big John is just reading your order like through a cookie off the screen <laughs> and writing it down and then mailing it over to the factory. Actually, no, he's grabbing a walkie talkie. Telling Jose like which pair of scissors to use on which uh pocket steak i also like how it's not it, it doesn't say a cart it, it calls your cart your box i guess we're done there are items in your box all right check almost out. anywhere all right so we're at 42 i could do arcade how many how many more do i have for endings let's finish up the endings first i think i still have to do the whole remnants quest I'm obviously not gonna do. I could I could do all the quests for the endings. I've already got the misfits. Um.
All right, if you want bougie microwave meals delivered to your door, click this link to get $60 off, and I get $60 off as well. This isn't a Jenny Craig link. We're double checking your referral code. Okay, Take $60 so off Black your Mountain purchase stuff. special thanks to James, okay? Oh wow, these are pre-cooked. Yeah, you just gotta heat them up. I've been doing this for uh, two weeks, so I'm an, I'm an expert. Oh, it's actually in like... All right, my jerky will be on its way soon, yeah, boys. I got, I got the Each fresh meal is so perfectly sized for one person to enjoy at one sitting. Fresh, dude. What the fuck is this? These meals are stupid expensive. But you get $60 off. Okay, 12 meals per week. Let's go all out. Whoa. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just okay. Here's the thing, like, <laughs> I I go to I go to Target and I buy like the family meal for three people and it's like thirteen dollars and I just eat that for three nights. I buy two of those and I have like my dinners for a week. So expensive. Yeah, this is unbelievably Jimmy. I'm not in this price bracket yet, man. I'm not in the nine dollar. I'm not in the nine dollar. Okay, so if I do four meals per week, it's it's eleven fifty a meal. Do you know how much McDonald's I can get for eleven fifty? So if it's six dollars off, off McDonald's is pretty pricey. If it's six dollars off, wait, six dollars off your first four orders. So you can buy this really cheap, like four times, and then never get it again. Here's the delivery day, Thursday. Seven spots left. Next. All right, steak, peppercorn. This looks good. Buffalo chicken. This looks good. Okay, Better so for you beef and broccoli owl. bowl. Sure. Masterful meatballs. Dumb name. <laughs> I was also just looking at masterful <laughs> meatballs. Dumb name. Uh, hearty chipotle chicken. Uh, Citrus kissed orange chicken. That sounds so fucking Sausage weird. and peppers. Sausage baked penne. Turkey I'll, I'll, meatloaf? Fuck let's do the, you. Let's do the tikka masala. Turkey okay, next. meatballs? Okay, so that may, this makes it $40 for four meals. That's still $10 a meal. You get $60, $60 that, off. That, no, that's off with that. Orders. Uh, uh, I thought it was like a lump sum off. Because I was going to say, they would owe me $15 off this order. If it was that. Okay, no, so they email me this and I'm like, shit, yeah, I can get somebody to get some free food and in exchange I get free food. Let's do it. But the way that works, uh you know. Okay, so this would be ten dollars so a you meal. Get Fifteen dollars off per your first four for your first four orders. Okay, so if this I go back works, right? Yeah. So if I go back and choose fucking the insano plan, the twelve meals per week, let's see how much it saves off that. Oh, Jesus. Had 12 meals to continue. We're just going with the first 12. We missed out on the mighty meatballs or whatever it's called. <laughs> Actually, I'll put it on there. Masterful meatballs. I think the only one I want to do mushroom steak. of the companions is going to be Arcade Ganon. Because he's got also the Yeah, it's still just $15 Monday. off. That makes it, yeah. I understand this is how they have to price it to make it worthwhile, but it's not. Gross, Jimmy. You're getting ordered, delivered food meals. Oh, huh, your city invented this, babe. What's Very what's? It? Oh, this this is what I've thought about doing for a while, but I think this is just because I listen I, I listen to podcasts. I've thought about doing this thing. Like, you get two free filet mignon steaks. There's no way this isn't a scam. Butcher Box? Yeah. Uh, they talk about it on Come Town and the Bill Bear podcast. I'm sure it's legitimate. They, I, I, haven't heard the, I haven't heard them on Come Town. I swear they've done it. Maybe not.
Would that make them more or less legitimate? The only ads they get are sketchy gambling sites and dick pills. Oh, they get uh, what do you call it? What's the other one? They get Ridge, Ridge Wallet, Wallet too. <laughs> Dude, Ridge, Ridge Wallet Wall will literally give an ad to anyone. Oh my gosh, Ridge Wallet! You could be like, you could be like, well, I'm here. My my platform's talking about why it's a good idea to have sex with children. They're like, here you go, here's your referral code. My Even podcast I've heard is about Ridge my podcast is called uh, the Phrenology Podcast. We have fifty active listeners a month. We are sponsored by Ridge Wallet. We are a pro Nazi podcast seeking to educate. Uh the chosen people as to the proper way to conduct yourselves. I don't know, this is like $5 a meal, but I'd have to cook stuff. Right, with Freshly, you pop it in the microwave for three minutes and you're good to go. Jimmy, you're a maniac. And how much is it per meal? <laughs> like ten dollars. It's at least ten. It's ten dollars per meal with Jimmy's sixty dollars off code. It's like seven seventy four no if you get twelve meals forced, a week. Right? So, it's not yeah. that much cheaper than just ordering takeout for every meal. So we're done. We're done. We're, done. we're actually done with the game. Yeah, but right you, just takeout have masterful meatballs. <laughs> it does. I don't. No. 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 It does not. They just came out with masterful meatballs. Is there a new thing? I wonder what Caesar will yeah, say. Yeah, no, not to be confused with like meatballs. They, there's no way they have unique dialogue for that. They're Wagyu Ooh. beef meatballs. It's DLC. That sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> that sounds awful. It would just fall apart. You'd have to like make them with fucking gelatin or something. All right, I just read the directions on the back of this new cat food, and it says for cats younger than 12 months, just feed them as much as they'll eat. <laughs> like, I, I don't think you've I, met I, I cats, really or, or at least Boris. That it's going to have any unique dialogue. <laughs> By order of... Oh, He's wait. so dark now. True to Kaisar. He's still He's not still nearly bad. as fat as Jeff was. No. But he's big. Jeff was a fucking beast. I just took my cat to the vet and they said he was pre-diabetic because he's too fat. Your cat's pre-diabetic. What have you been Two feeding? Cat food, mainly. Too much cat food? I'm really interested. I, I don't think there's going to be any ding, ding, ding. dialogue, which is unfortunate. But I think right now, you get a chance to confess your crimes to the, to the Legion. You should mix it up. You should feed him some lard. I spent months feeding the Omer. Allow me to make this clear. In the future, if you've committed... Weeks of <laughs> <laughs> You've been resourceful. Boris the blue eyed one? Up up. I no, Boris is yellow slash brown eyed. Alright, that's what I thought. I was, I was like, for some reason I had it in my head that Boris was the blue eyed one, but the blue eyed one did look like it was less fat, so I was like, that doesn't match up. No, Boris. the blue eyed one is normal size. He's not fully grown even. Like, once he has actually fully grown, he'll look like a normal healthy cat. Boris yeah. is the okay, one so they're, they're, who will routinely find it literally on his back. Was there more for us to do? Well, that's unfortunate. I don't think they expect you to, to nuke them. This is really the, <laughs> the actual story here.
Alright, well I finished playing video games, now what do I do? Dude, welcome to my life. I'm watching Aqua Teen. Because I realized that Aqua Teen is on this HBO Max shit that I get for free with my internet now, and I never watched the last season. So that's what you I'm doing. You get HBO Max for free? We have the same internet. I get HBO Max for free. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, right. I was gonna get HBO Max, but they don't have a Roku app, so... There's no point. Please explain. I'm not gonna watch it on my laptop. Not I'll you, just watch Cody. it. Well, what do you Did want? Did they send you a code in your email or something? No. Oh, I meant Jimmy. Are you buying a new Apple ARM product? No. Thought about it. Almost did. I I, I I need to know day. what uh what's it called? What's the memory called, Cody? That we were tripping out about the integrated memory. Or no, whatever? but it's, yeah, but it's called it's called unified. Yeah, yes. it's unified. <laughs> unified yeah, memory. it's unified with the motherboard. Oh, well, worse than that. It's literally, it's literally unified with the chip. So, so, so it is in the CPU. Have to do, uh, Unless you get the high end, the high end one doesn't it. have so unified memory Oscar. listed, which I guess means you can self replace sticks in the high end Mac Mini. No, no, you cannot. Then why? So it's. it's I don't understand. Okay, I'm pretty much. Not I just don't understand. Anything that here. that it is it is crazy um, how Apple's like. Like, they're just gonna sell a computer, like, it, it's basically a computer on a chip now, but it's actually a computer on a okay, chip. Jimmy, like, that's what they're going for. Jimmy, when I log in, it looks like this. What the fuck? Okay, I've never even been to this website, so let me, let me log in. Dude, I hate logging into my internet. I hate, I, it's like, ah. Uh, the AT&T site used to be busted, so it would give you like malformed cookies, so I had to use incognito mode to pay my internet bill every month. But they fixed it. They fixed it recently. I don't have to do that anymore. I'm gonna try and log into this shit. Cause like I'm currently playing paying for yeah. HBO Max. It, uh... It told me about the shit like when I was buying yeah, was the plan or like when I was switching plans and I just ignored it until this morning because I was like, oh, I can watch Aqua Team. I guess I have a reason to actually click this button now. They kept sending me emails like activate your unused benefit HBO Max. I was like, fuck you. Dude, mine keeps saying that. It's like, by the way, you get Fox Sports Go. You can watch the Nashville Predators play anytime you want. And I'm like, I already steal all of this. I already steal literally any sports thing I want to watch because it's yeah. easier than installing your app and verifying it with my cable provider and then authorizing it. It's so much work. When I can go to belasport.com, a website that has a banner that says, donate to support this trash site whenever you feel like it, and I can watch anything. I can, wa I can watch, like, African people play lacrosse. It's incredible. How much does HBO Max cost? I don't know. HBO Max cost. It's probably, like, what, 9 bucks a month? 15 I'm, a month. I'm Googling it. Twelve dollars a month. Yeah. Enjoy seven days free and then fifteen a month. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. What the fuck? I get this for free. Piece of shit. <laughs> Pay a fucking you know ninety dollars a month for internet. So. I pay seventy. And all right, Jimmy. That was another weird thing when I switched plans. It's like seventy a month, and it, like, like that's just that's just what it costs. It's not like a limited, reduced price or anything. It's like that's just the regular price. So I was like, well, I could switch from three hundred to a thousand, and it costs less. Okay. I had the guy call me up and be like, "Yo, uh, we you use a lot of our internet, and I just want to let you know we have fiber in your area." And I was like, "Okay, tell me more about it." And they didn't have fiber in my area. So <laughs> that conversation sucked. <laughs> I was like, I, I was like, I was like, did, did you really like have me on a list of like people to try to get to upgrade fiber to? And like, you don't actually have fiber here. They're like, well, we have it in the apartment complex across from yours. And I'm like, 
That's not where I live. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's not where I live at all. They said, they said, yeah, we got fiber in your area. And you said, really? And they go, yeah, not for you, though. <laughs> yeah, it's like... It's like the Jimmy John's delivery circle, and I'm like the house outside of the circle. Oh, see, it's gonna make me sign in with my AT&T ID every time. This is a disaster. Yeah, I'm gonna use this once and then doing never ever work. look at it again. Well, I already have like five people using this account, so <laughs> switching the credentials is non-trivial. That's their problem, not yours. TBH. Oh, I can just take all my money back? I didn't know you could do that. Oh, Tom is streaming. I accidentally opened Tom's stream. Some shit. No, I opened... Yeah. I, and I heard an echo of Cody and I couldn't figure out what it was. Now Tom's I can hear myself. Tom's now I can hear myself. This sucks. New Vegas bender. Yeah, Mason, you kind of missed it. I've been playing through the whole game on just like very hard with bare fists. Oh no, I tune in and then I remember that watching New Vegas makes my eyes hurt, so I turn it off. Right, Everything on my screen is a shade of orange. Yeah, this game is hard to look at. It's also like fuzzy. Also, Tom plays at like fucking 640 by 480. Yeah, you mean the Kino res? The Kino res. <laughs> These go 720 by 480, so it's DV. Now the grain adds, uh, the grain adds texture and character. Whatever, I'm about to be done with it anyway. I just have two more quests. I already beat all the DLC. Hey, oh, Cody, uh, when th I, I talked to you a little bit about this. We were talking about, like, you were explaining, like, anime frame rate and stuff to me, and I was bringing up PAL. There was... Yeah. There was a draw. I know I talked about like old skate camera or cameras that I used to film skateboarding with, and there was a draw at a time where everybody started buying PAL VX 1000s because the PAL resolution. Do you know what it is? It's like it's like five four. It's seven twenty by five seventy six. Hmm. So it's like it's like you would get like a slightly sharper image, but you would get you know fifty i footage out of a PAL VX 1000. I just thought about that when. I was looking at these seven pixels that are on Tom's screen. Switching back for a second, Mason, since you asked. The, the other reason the M1 chips, as much as I like them, I'm not going to buy them. They only support one external display. Yikes. For now, for now or forever? Forever. But that is not a software limitation. That is a hardware issue. So, um, so for the actual Wait, professional level max, are they just going to keep buying stuff from PS Intel? What an idiot. I mean, they, they're shipping a MacBook Pro with this chip in it, so I doubt it. They, they're, why would they, have they just de deemed that it's not worthwhile competing in that, like, sector anymore? I'm assuming the next gen will probably fix the problem or something. That's my guess, because the, the two issues are you're, you're hard limited to 16 gig, and there are plenty of people who want more, and the external display so limitation is not reasonable for an actual pro device. It's probably just their fucking Do I shitty first attempt in the oh, next gen will be more worth like, having. It would all be fine if they only updated the MacBook Air, but because they also updated the Pro, the really now is, everyone is furious, and rightfully so. Like, Campbell the Pro should have been left or... Only the Air should have been switched over. It's also, like, just as expensive as it used to be. It's like, it didn't get cheaper. It's more expensive. Switching I prefer not to do it, but I think yeah. if I don't do it, then the NCR is not going to like me. I mean, that's fine. It, it outperforms Intel mm. in basically every benchmark, except for these viewers. It's the loudest sound in the fucking game. I'm trying to mush it down. So I don't really care Why? about the price being this the same. Is... That's reasonable. I'm assuming power consumption is way better. No idea why it's that way loud. better. Wow. Mr. You get like an extra six hours of battery life off this thing. 
new Mac scored higher than a three thousand dollars sixteen inch MacBook Pro. What? Render unto Kaiser. Okay, so he don't like me no more. Heavens on the bench, bar. Of, of course, of course. Wild child. Because there's some shit that they explicitly accelerated, which is kind of cheating, but but they did it, so. Really good at counting prime numbers. Dude, the Mac <laughs> <laughs> looks like prime number score only activates when you run Prime 95. Oh, can you explain to me what like the neural core is? I have not a fucking clue to be honest. I mean, I saw that they're like it's got a 60 core like neural processor? processor, and I'm like, what? There's like a small Chinese person in there? Like what? <laughs> what is it? There are certain operations which are very common in neural nets and they have CPUs dedicated to crunching those numbers. Yeah, but who's doing that on a $1,300 MacBook Pro? Unclear, because like Google has cards for this in their data centers that they invented called the C-Stars and like, what? why do we need this in our laptops? Can I dress up like an NCR guy? Is that going to work with the uh, engineer stuff? I don't know. I guess it still oh, makes yes. sense for me to buy one oh, since yes. my ass dog fucking broke my last laptop. Did you, you did you hear me? about what happened, Jimmy? No. We stepped on the power cord just right, so it separated like the little the chip part of the that takes in power basically. And so if I plug it in, my laptop immediately shorts out. Nice. Either of the Thunderbolt ports. Which, you know, you know, and here's here's a wild thought. What if they came up with like a power port that if somebody yanked on the cord, it just if pulled just out in, and didn't break like your laptop? Like somebody should do that. Like, yeah. like Apple ten years ago. Yeah, like maybe I you could use magnets. Yeah, and it's like, it would be super durable. It would last forever. I failed it. Oh, um, you wouldn't have all these weird specs about the ports. Like it would, it would just be a standard thing. <laughs> that's so dumb. I don't know. That that that's what that's like the best thing Apple ever killed. Cause especially in college, dude, I'm people would step in my laptop cord all them? the time. That's fucking weird. Oh yeah. But hey, somebody them. steps on a USB C cord just right, and your thousand dollar laptop now needs a seven hundred dollar repair. I've heard of you. Yeah, that's a full board replacement unless you know how to patch it and only a couple repair shops know how to do that i've watched is i've watched so many lewis rossman vids glad you could join us most of my well for me to fix it i would need to buy like 300 dollars of equipment <laughs> yeah yeah because you have to you need like the mic you need the the tester Chance. stuff and you need like some type of magnification and then you need like actual soldering stuff heat gun yeah yeah you need whatever that juice is you gotta squirt the juice on the board yeah, you never know what it is because you only see it on his magnifying glass in the videos. Yeah. I also love like when they when they released like the new 16 inches. I looked at what like what the pricing was. Like you can trade in your old MacBook, and I'm like, okay, let's see what the trade-in value is for me buying the lowest end MacBook four months after I bought it. And it's like we'll give you 250 bucks for it. And I'm like. Fucking goddamn. Not that I'm surprised by that, but. It... <laughs> Move along. Ugh. <sighs> I gotta look around for clues, but Vertebrate doesn't even land until you talk It's just time. enough Second time. that for 99% of people, it would not be worth the effort of haggling with losers on Craigslist to score like an extra 100, 150 bucks out of the machine. Oh, for sure. Super for sure. was um i mean you said something that gave me another question for you oh yeah uh stuff there's a lot of stuff that doesn't run natively right like Current, there's a ton yeah. of stuff that doesn't run natively yeah they they already have the tools out for you to recompile so like it won't be long before the whole app store is is recompiled is going to happen to the but you'll need to wait a little bit for external apps to get their shit together and for them to buy dev models and things like that there's the translator stuff, which uh, I don't know the actual performance of that. I mean, I know how well it performs on the Windows ARM stuff, and it's it's not very good, so. Do you have any experience with Windows ARM stuff? 
Only a little bit. Do you mind? I, I want, I still want to try to install like Windows 10, like a Windows 10 ARM build on my Galaxy tablet, but nobody's done it. So I'm assuming it's really hard or it doesn't work that. right. Yeah. Windows ARM is built for very specific. Yeah, that's what I was, that's why I was going to say. Like, I can't find any like useful stuff about it. It's all like on, it's like on some like Chinese developers page. That's all in fucking moon rooms and I can't figure any of it out. So far, it's all very, very chip specific on the Windows side of the world, so... Yeah, like I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I lose all the features that make the tablet worth happening, even if I get the OS running. Settle down. Oh, shit. Yeah, but you will have all sorts of issues with device support, touch input, etc. Yeah, I mean, and it's funny because what it comes down to is like, I, since it's in like Android and I can't have all my ad block stuff, I just can't stand to use it for like browsing the internet. I can't stand to use it for like watching streams or watching YouTube, which is basically what my laptop did when I wasn't working on it. So now I'm just like, I have this tablet that's just like injecting Verizon 5G ads into my eyes every seven minutes and I, I can't stand to use it. I've got a Chromebook for that sort of like just like very passive usage, and that's been it's been fine. I, I hate my Chromebook, but like I only use it in bed, so who cares? Yeah, no, like that's that's how I feel about it. But the time came they could go It like. Well, that's how I felt about it until my laptop fucked up, and now I'm like, uh, I need something that's mobile. But I was holding off on buying stuff until the new Apple laptops came out, so I guess I'll buy one of those. I mean, I would, I would have already bought an Air if, like, I was actually going places. Like, if it was still regular outside, you could actually, like, you know, travel. I would, I would have already bought one. How heavy is the workload you do on your uh, iPad Pro? Like it's you're mostly just like reviewing stuff, right? Like you're not actually doing any. I'm doing like nothing. So yeah. yeah. I have no real grounding in how good that CPU is. I mean, I know the benchmarks, but. Well, the one you got has a pretty sick processor, but I, oh. I was just saying like you you wouldn't actually like ever want to write code on it. It just doesn't have the tools for it, but yeah, uh, if it did, like it has the specs, I would be fine with it. That's basically why I'd, I'd get the Air is I'd swap my iPad for the air. Yeah, because it's an actual operating system. I want to like, do actual work, but yeah. I, I don't have to. I can just use it as a, you know, a tablet if I wanted to. Yeah, that like, like, and just going back to the point we talked about before, that's been like the big, the biggest downside is that it still handles like a phone. It like kind of tries to lie to you. It's like we've got a desktop mode. You can put a keyboard on it. You can connect an external monitor. You can have it run off your Windows thing. But it's like, it has the horsepower and the tools. To just be a computer, but it's not a computer. Right. It is, it is a big phone, which I I knew when I bought it. Tried to make it something that it wasn't. I mean, like some people, the type of work they need to do matches up well with that. And for a while, it did for me. But then I switched employers, and now my workload doesn't fit at all on that thing. I've, I did use it to review um, photos I shot last week. Like, I took it with me on the shoot, and that was actually kind of cool to have, like, you know, a, an above 1080p screen to review and do, like, color correct and say, oh, this is how this turned out, this is how that turned out. That was, that was useful, and that was cool. Mm -hmm. done with that? But that, like, cool. again, that's kind of all it is. It's just a, it's a nice big screen. 120 hertz which is nice too wish everything was 120 hertz still waiting for the you know uh, ultra wide 144 so i can finally get rid of the one i've been using oh that's are you doing two ultra wides or no, did you I just send half a screenshot okay i wasn't sure i have a dell u49 i've got the dell 155 or whatever that cody recommended and then i've got my games monitor which just sucked. I just want one display. And this is the perfect size, the perfect aspect ratio. It's perfect. I, I want to replace this just with a 144 hertz panel. 
There is only one convert like that is currently available on the market, which is a LG that gets abominable it's reviews, and, and it's, it's still like a dollars. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say it's still stupidly expensive. Yeah. Like, cause, cause it's like what's comparable to that is what I have, and this costs like five hundred fifty dollars for yeah. two one for two fourteen forty p one forty four hertz panels, and they're not great. Like, they're like one of them's good for gaming, one of them's bad for everything, but still, it's like functionally like i have what you have just well, with hertz and a black bar in the middle yep one up just and so i'm just like waiting and every ces one someone hertz. announces a monitor in this in this uh category and then it never gets released because they run into some you know unsolvable issue in the at the very end of production all right cool let's do it it's also just not a popular form factor like this form factor is very specifically, oh, you want two displays, but you just want one. That's weird. Okay, you can buy this. Normally, ultra-wides are like, oh, you're a, you're a gamer. You want the panoramic view of the Witcher's asshole. Here you go. Yeah. And for that, you want a 34-inch ultra-wide, and there's a fucking billion of those. Dude, what's funny to me is how much bigger monitors have gotten and it just feels normal. Like, I remember when I first got a 24-inch, I was like, well, because I went to a 24-inch from a 15.6-inch MacBook screen, and if I was like, this is gigantic. Well we never All need to go bigger than this. And I got my 27-inch, and within, like, 30 minutes, I was like, yeah, this is how big monitors should be. Monitors should never be smaller than this. Well, because part of it is you get used to being so close to the screen that when you can finally, like, actually sit back in your chair, you're like, oh, this is way better. Yeah. This is way better. No, I mean, like, I remember when I was in high school, me and Cody used 19-inch screens, and we thought that was the ideal screen size. Why should we support Vegas? They've and then, like, the I, I upgraded to, like, a 23-inch Westinghouse, and I felt absolutely wow. ludicrous about it at my desk. It, it felt like, like you were putting, like, a, to put my like a 50-inch television ask... a foot from your face. Now I'm sitting literally in front of a 49-inch screen being like, yeah, I don't but know. But we still don't have enough. the reason. We oh yeah, I could totally see myself going bigger. Shortages. I 100% could see myself going bigger. If I get a bigger, if I got a bigger desk and I could put my monitors a little further back, like that's that's the limitation it now is, is like desk size. And I already have a big desk. I, if this plan will like I would just cave and go back to two displays at this point. So honestly, if I had a big supplied, enough desk, we will but I don't. So. And I don't want a bigger desk. Know, like, the box. size is perfect. Everything about the desk and the things around the monitor has been dialed in after years of adjustments. I must have skipped this when I first played the game. Ooh. I really just wanted to get to 44 so I can have a ride channel. But I don't know what's going to happen. Still like six thousand experience experience away. Just fuck that. We're not gonna. Oh, fuck. Just have to shit on the foot fighting ritual. Just lost an entire folder of pictures. That's annoying. Hey, look who's here. It's me. Oh, it's me. Here we go. 2009. It was like a 21 or 23 inch Westinghouse, and I thought I was off the chain with the oh display my. this large. Is that is that one of those blackboard wallpapers? The blackboard paint, yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to that, head for the that, this is this is such a 2009 picture. Well. I like I like how when I go to save this image, the only other image Great. in this folder is so Dingo and Waka 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 Do you remember having speakers? Oh my gosh. There's a lot going on. on so. there's, this is super 2000. You don't have to oh. Good. Wait, what are you writing? What is this? Laboratory 2, Enzyme, 
Catalyst? Let's go. Let's do this. Let's end this. Hope that yeah. lab went well. I don't remember. Probably did. You must use the control room. AP bio. I loved AP bio. You must use the my Wait. AP bio teacher was bartender at my parents' favorite bar, so that was weird. But yes, I liked Whoa. it too. I still have all the shit in this picture in a box somewhere in my grandma's house. Like, I need to find it. Just run past everything. Run past everything is like the ultimate fucking game remove. I gotta bait this guy this direction. Come on. Come on. This poor Sean douchebag. I wanted to push him through. Right there. No one is allowed into the control room. Alright, cool. Let me back it up a little bit. <laughs> what about me? I work for the NCR. Stop right there. No nope. one is okay. allowed into the control room. Here's what we're gonna do instead. I could run past him. But I ain't gonna I ain't gonna do that neither. So cool. Okay, now we're gonna switch over to Legion. Oh my god, I'm getting blocked. I'm getting fucking body blocked. All the Legion guys like me now. your duster back on. Simple as. They literally just fucking wipe them out. Do a big old save here. I think I'm 
invisible again. No companions. Don't need them. Oh wait. True to Kaiser. Yeah, true to Kaiser it's you too, man. there be the final boss. And who is this before me in the colors of the Legion? An envoy, dressed as an insult to all that carry it. Kaiser's will has made truth through me. If you seek to stand against me, you... God damn. I a plan by Vorpis. I can only hope that the Omet is my, my dad is running a fucking leaf blower just outside the fucking window. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go, this is what I want. <laughs> I have seen little of true battle this day. I shall death. Okay, so here we go. Taking some Yaogloi, add some of this. The Wasteline Omelet. The profligates. <gasps> you can knock him down. This is over. I couldn't even knock down the Ulysses. I hope he is. Oh my god. <laughs> this is this is the final boss of the regular game. Let me see, do I have any jet? Trying to run away to heal. It's not gonna happen. Wow. That's it. That's the final boss. Deal with General Lee Oliver and the NCR. Just remember, I'm gonna call your duster. Whew, okay. Get the fuck over here, my weapon binding rituals wearing off. Caesar on the cross. Guess it ain't no secret. I would sue. Look, I know you're. You 
want me to make I think you're cast out enough to AP plus 20? That's so much better. But he's probably like really shitty. Yeah, there's there's no. You did a super job wrapping things up, and I'm not just saying I didn't want to make a big deal about this. I found some Okay. The game has been beaten and on so very Victoria, hard, who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs, only cheated fists. death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas' independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended. Quickly. Chaos became uncertainty, then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position.